Albert Einstein's special and general theories of relativity scrutinize on several unexplained phenomena in a known universe, along with strong predictive and explanatory power. As a result of their predictive power, it has been demonstrated that space and time are interchangeable dimensions that can be extended, bent, or even twisted. Einstein then determined that all physical laws are similar for at-rest observers and that the speed of light in a vacuum was independent of the motion of all observers. He introduced a new framework for the study of physics and proposed new concepts of space and time. In the late 19th century, conflicts with Newton's observation of space and time were surfaced. The assumption was that the position and motions of objects in space should all be measurable relative to an at-rest absolute frame of reference. This frame of reference was theorized to have invisible mediums called an ether. Physicists performed rigorous experimentation by measuring our planet's motion through this speculated ether. The method by which physicists used to detect the theorized ether was conducted by detecting distinctions of the speed of light in various directions. The test deemed unsuccessful was confirmed that light always travels synonymously to an observer, whichever the observer's own movements were. This innovation suggested that light does not follow the same rules of relative motion that govern everyday objects like vehicles, boats, or bullets. A normal object could never reach the speed of light and if you were to chase a bullet at half of its speed, the rate in which the bullet moves away from you would have. However, if a person were to chase a light wave at half of the speed of light, the light wave would continue moving away from you at exactly the same velocity. Einstein thought there was no absolute frame of reference in the early 1900s, combined with speculation about everything being relative and time not being absolute. Time does not pass at the same fixed rate everywhere, which Einstein coined the term special relativity. He called it special because it was restricted to frames of reference in constant, unchanging motion. Special relativity is broken down into two distinct principles. One. The first principle, called Principle of Relativity, states that the laws of physics apply equally in all constant moving frames of reference. 2. The second principle states that the speed of light is constant and independent of the motion of the observer or source of light. The effects that run from the principles of special relativity are significant. Einstein demonstrated that for the speed of light to be synonymous in all frames of reference, measures of space and time in one frame must be transformed to those of another. When an object travels at a high velocity relative to the observer, the length of the object will contract. Physicists call this phenomena Lorentz contraction. Furthermore, while the object is at a high rate of velocity, time appears to slow considerably, an effect called time dilation. All measurements of time and space conclude by variance between moving reference frames. Objects tend to gain mass while energy increases, and loses it when energy decreases. This led Einstein to come to the startling conclusion that mass and energy correspond to one another, which he expressed in his famous equation, E equals mc squared. E equals energy, m equals mass, times c2, or the speed of light squared. Eventually, one of the first applications of his equation was the development of atomic bombs. In atomic bombs, the loss of small amounts of mass in nuclear reactions release vast amounts of energy, resulting in a catastrophic explosion. Further analysis of special relativity concludes that space and time are associated paradigms. 
When two events happen in separate places, the space between them are ambiguous. This ambiguity occurs because objects traveling at different velocities measure different distances. Depending on the observer's motions, elapsed time is superficially altered. However, mathematics can be applied for calculating the separation of events involving a mishmash of space and time that assign values for mutual agreement across all observers. As a result, descriptions of events in the universe were no longer described in three dimensions but a catalyst of four dimensions, networking time and space, eventually described as space-time. Within this model, two events are separated respectively, also known as space-time interval. Einstein's predictive model of relativity was verified by equipping airliners with atomic clocks, then comparing them to stationary clocks at the ground level. So what's the big deal about relativity? How does this scientific discovery benefit the progression of scientific advancement? The answer is, without relativistic time dilation, global positioning systems, also known as GPS, would not function, which makes relativity practical in everyday use, especially in modern-day smartphones. GPS satellites are set to run at 7.2 microseconds a day slower than earthbound clocks, and their data must be adjusted to maintain accuracy.